Hi everyone. So this is a uh, follow-up to the uh, previous video, the uh, micro-medium range uh, experiment. So let's call this the uh, part two, the follow-up, and let's say the conclusion, because I think I'm ready to uh, uh, form an opinion about this particular uh, configuration in this build. And uh, my opinion is I like it, and I think I'm going to leave it like this for a while and fly it like this, because uh, I was having quite a bit of fun with it. So I'm not going to go over everything, all the components uh, yet. I will do that at the end, though. I'll tally up everything so you can see what the uh, cost is like. Uh, but the, uh, there's a little card up there if you want to see the uh, original video and all the uh, components. But a couple of things that have changed since then were, are I added the uh, full-size Immortal T antenna instead of the mini one, just as, just so I wouldn't have any uh, uh, worries at all about range. And now I'm running these Gemfan 3018 bi-blades instead of the 3016 tri-blades that I had before, just for some efficiency, and I even saved a little bit of weight doing that. And then the battery I've been using the most is this little 700 uh, 3S from Gen Zace getting about a good eight minutes on this, which I think is, uh, for me, that's plenty. And so I think I can, I think my original goal was 10 minutes, but up in the air, eight minutes is actually fine. And uh, let's just weigh this little thing, because I think I saved, even though this full-size Immortal T antenna is a little bit heavier, I saved some weight with the lighter props. So I think it came out a little bit ahead in the end. Maybe they can get here. So 94.12, let's call it 94 grams, no, 0.13. Well, anyway, 94 grams. So I'd say that's uh, pretty good for a little, 3 inch 3s uh, with GPS and uh, I'd say decent uh, flight characteristics even though it was a little bit uh, windy while I was testing it felt felt really nicely locked in I was had no issues with that um, I did turn up the uh, gains a little bit uh, which I think helped the stability stability and also the freestyle and so I think uh, in the first video you might have seen that I flew out to uh, about uh, 250 meters and for me I thought that was uh, really far and it made me uh, nervous and this time I, I tripled that I went out to about 750 meters I think my, my goal was one kilometer but uh, didn't quite reach it today but uh, did go out 750 meters still had great video so what I found I really enjoyed was you know going up cruising around for like four or five minutes and then the last two or three minutes of the battery just doing some uh, light freestyle uh, around where I took off from and I think that's for me that was a great combination and this and this thing was uh, Totally able to do that. It was able to handle the light freestyle that I can do. You know, just uh, split S's, ugly power loops, uh, flips and rolls, and uh, things like that. And it was uh, no problems. Didn't have any. Uh, didn't feel underpowered. Certainly wasn't overpowered, but I didn't feel it was uh, lacking in any way for uh, what I wanted to do with it. So yeah, like I said, I'm really happy with uh, how this turned out. And I don't think at the moment you can really buy anything exactly like this configuration. And so to that end, let's just um, let's add up what everything cost on here just uh, for fun. Let's just see. How this compares to a bind and fly. So first of all, we got the uh, frame here, which is the uh, Airblade Intrepid Mini, and that's uh, $17.99. And then the flight controller is the Hi-Fi on RC F7, the little 25 amp, and that's only $42.99. The Cadex Nebula was uh, is $124.99. And the GPS here is uh, was only $9.99. And the motors, the RC and Power uh, 1202, uh, 6000 kV. I think those are. Um, Let's see, those are $10.99 each, so four of those is $43.96. And then the receiver is the Crossfire Nano. Well, the uh, Immortal T is $29.99, and then the props are $3.99 a set. And then altogether, that is $273.90. So that compares, I think, pretty well to uh, binded flies or plug-and-plays, but I think you'll see that uh, those kits are usually about the same price or even a little bit cheaper than buying all the components separately, though. So those are usually a, uh, a pretty good deal and hard to pass up. But anyway... So I'll just leave you with a little bit of the uh, freestyle flying that I did today at the end of one of the uh, medium long range flights. You can see how it was doing. Uh, but that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.